It's quite cold here today, so broke out the old snood, broke out the old hat. Also, I gotta be quiet because it's late at night, so I'll just bring you in real close right here. Yeah, that's good. So we are not long after the release of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, and because of the frankly questionable performance of those games, uh, it has brought into question the power of the Switch. There's been a lot of people saying that the Switch isn't powerful enough, that it sucks as a console, and that Nintendo are awful and everything like that. This video is kind of prompted as well by a video that IGN released called Seriously Nintendo, It's Time to Release a Switch Pro, which again also called into question the power of the Switch. Based purely off of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, I don't believe it's a power issue. I think it's more an optimization issue, given that, you know, those Pokemon games, they're not the most graphically intensive. But Nintendo as a company have never combated their competition with pure power. It's always been their IP. So, you know, your Pokemon, your Marios, your Zeldas, your Kirbys, your Metroids, your Animal Crossings, and hardware niches. So, you know, something like the 3DS or the Game Boy that are portable, or just something real weird like the Wii and kind of the Wii U that operate mostly off of motion controls. They kind of find these particular niches and the combination of the two really work together. So I don't think there's any question of Nintendo needing more power with their system because they've never fought back with power. But with that being said, the Switch was released in 2017. So we're actually over five years into the Switch's lifetime. And if you go back and check out Nintendo's last few sets of consoles, so Switch was released in 2017, the Wii U was released in 2012, I believe. The Wii was 2006, GameCube 2001, and the N64 was 1996. So they average in around five to six years for their console life cycle. So with that being said, I think we're definitely looking at some kind of successor console announcement in 2023. Whether we actually get the console in 2023 is a different story entirely. Nintendo's financial year ends in March, so the Switch was actually originally announced in October 2016 with a release on, I believe, March 12th, 2017. So this coincided exactly with the end of their financial year and the beginning of the next financial year. So on both accounts, it's going to look really good because they had sales both at the end of one year leading into the next. I think they might do something kind of similar this time around as well. Now there is obviously the Christmas period, which would be a prime time to release for a new console, but I don't think Nintendo would necessarily care too much about that. They didn't care about it for the Switch last time, and they didn't have the release of a new console then. I don't think they're gonna focus on the Christmas period, but the reason why I think that they will do something somewhat similar again this time around is because in May next year we're getting Tears of the Kingdom. I don't think they're going to release a new console that in a close enough window to Tears of the Kingdom they're going to try and give that as big a run as possible before finishing out the life cycle of the Switch. So I think that May will get Tears of the Kingdom. We will not hear anything about a new console for maybe six months? I think maybe November 2023, October, November 2023, we'll get some kind of announcement on the Switch. Similar timeline as to the, the Switch originally. I think they're going to try and get a good six months of sales out of Tears of the Kingdom, lead up to Christmas, announce the new console so that people are going to save their money at Christmas possibly, and then maybe February, late February, early March 2024, they'll release the console. Now, the reason why I think Tears of the Kingdom factors into that is because I think they're going to try and sell a new version of Tears of the Kingdom for the next console. Either it won't be backwards compatible, or they will release a newer version on the new console. Now, I could be wrong on the timeline of things. I'm just purely speculating here and purely going off of their uh, financial year details. But either way, we're definitely getting a new Switch console, either late 2023 or early 2024, I think. One other thing that 
I was also thinking about with regard to this topic is what they'll call the new console. Because I don't think they're going to go with something as simple as the Switch 2. Like, if you think about it, with Nintendo, they have the Switch. If you say Switch, it's very, very specifically this one specific console. If you say PlayStation, someone might go, oh, are you playing PS4 or PS5? If you say Xbox, it's, oh, is it the Series X or the, the one? Which one is which? I keep on forgetting. I think they might keep the idea of the Switch, but go with a completely different branding of it or like a new name or additional functionality that, again, will be a key hardware niche that they can tap into because the Switch worked perfectly for both home console and portability. That It had that little niche going for it. I think they're going to find something else to add into it to brand the new console on that they can then use that going forward hopefully with backwards compatibility so that you know we can play all our old switch games i think literally they got way too badly burned by the move from wii to wii u that i don't think they're going to do the same thing with switch i think they're going to just i think they're going to throw switch out the window even though i'm hoping it's still backwards compatible and is still going to be very similar to the switch I think they're going to find some other name that's going to be as synonymous with that console as Switch is with their current console. (laughs) Because the Wii U was just that bad a disaster. So yeah, (laughs) I'm curious to see will the the Steam Deck have some competition with this uh, successor console that Nintendo are going to come out with. But hey, hopefully 2023 we're able to see, uh, if not 2024, but... Yeah, let's just see what Nintendo does.